Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to talk about plantains. With the turning plantains, I find them ideal for tostones. The green plantains, I find ideal for boiling, mashing, using them for mofongos and things like that. And then there are the fully ripened plantains. These are the ideal plantains to use to make that classic, sweet, sticky, almost banana-like fried plantain that everybody loves. But a nice turning one that isn't green, that isn't overly ripe, is perfect for the twice cooking properties and techniques associated with the classic tostoni, which is a great starchy, crispy side. Now these are a little trickier to peel. I try to get as much off the conventional way as possible, and then I will take my knife to it, and I'll just make sure that these little bits of skin come off. They're not gonna kill you if you eat one. I'm gonna cut these into, what is that? Inch, inch and a half slices, and we're gonna fry them twice. Once to sort of cook them through before we smash them, and then again a second time to crisp them. So I have my oil at around 375 degrees. You could probably do about 12 or 16 pieces in a pot about this big. If you have a piece of aluminum foil and a cleaver, you can use that. I don't want these to slip and slide too much, but a little bit of oil is always nice. Best to work with these while they are hot. Place one there on your foil. Just give it a little smush. It's a perfect tostone, and then we'll flip it back into the fryer. And you pound them down to what, about a quarter of an inch? Thin. And the ones that we've put in there already, I just wanna flip over so they brown evenly on both sides. Tostones are fantastic. Season them with a little salt. Usually at my house, Put them out as an easy snack. Put a pile of limes on the side. Take a chili, jalapeno, habanero if you've got a lot of cojones, but I love a little kick to them. Eat them fresh. They reheat very well, but hot out of the pan is how you want them.